close till I get up Time is barely on our side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And I know we'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun rays And I to my channel so at the beginning you saw um that i was really bloated last night it was i think it was actually no i don't think it was last night i think it was the other night it was like thursday i think um it's now friday um and yeah i just wanted to show to you that i do go to bed sometimes like that i am like i do go to bed quite bloated sometimes just because consuming all that food like i have like 2000 plus calories a day and like four liters of water so sometimes i am i do go to bed really uncomfortable and really bloated like that but then in the morning i wake up and i'm normal so just wanted to show you to you that i do like i am a normal person and yeah i don't have abs 24 7 because my body's not like that it just it isn't so <laughs> but um anyway i just wanted to kind of give you like an update um kind of what I do like day to day because loads of people just think I'm this fitness person that just does videos and stuff all day with my life and that is not what I do so I just wanted to update you so I am basically my I have two jobs technically three jobs but we'll call it two um my first job um I work Monday to Friday as a receptionist at a window fitting company I know it's really glamorous um but yeah that's what I work as um I work as that part-time just because I need the money, I'm not financially stable to just be doing personal training and online coaching and stuff like that. So yeah, I've got a second job to kind of keep me afloat um, and it's literally the easiest job I think I've ever done in my life. I used to work in retail, I used to work in like Topshop and I used to work in Urban Outfitters but they were like obviously quite active jobs like being on a floor and stuff but I literally am in in an office. I think the phone rings like twice a day and I'm there like four hours and it's literally the easiest job. And I'm pretty much on my laptop either doing YouTube videos or doing online coaching stuff, um, like doing plans and stuff. So it's literally the easiest job. And I know so many people that have quit their like office jobs to like foretake their fitness dreams and stuff like that, but I'm financially not in that position yet. So yeah, that's why I, that's why I do that. I'm just a normal person like you guys pretty much. I do a, a job. I have a normal job in the week and stuff. Um, but yeah, then my second job is I work at a gym called South Coast Gym um, and I work there twice a week and then I do my online personal training stuff. So obviously I don't just do like YouTube videos all day and I don't just do Instagram and all of that. So yeah, I do have a job and it's just an easy job. So the only reason I'm staying here is because I like it's very easy money and I know I'm not gonna be here my whole life. So that's not why I'm not stuck there. I'm choosing to be there because I need the money at the moment and I know I'm not gonna be there forever. So, um, but yeah, I'm just getting ready for work now and I will show you I kept to the rest of the day and um, pretty much this is pretty much my everyday week unless I have like something magically really fun this is pretty much my everyday life what I do pretty much so I'll show you what I get to finding life along the way melodies we haven't played and no, I don't Guys, I'm really rubbish at showing you my day to day life on a Friday, sorry about that, but pretty much went home, um, did loads of work, um, then fell asleep on the sofa, then woke up, ate food, 
and watch a movie and then fell back to sleep so that's literally my life um that's pretty much what i did i didn't go to the gym just because i was really tired like i don't know why i was so tired just yet and i just wasn't very i didn't eat a lot yesterday either which is really rubbish but anyway um it's now like 20 past six so i need to go but um, i'm just on my way to london so i'll see you there and i'll show you what i get up to <laughs> That was mine. <laughs> I really wish I ordered it's it now. It's got an onion ring in it. I know, I wish I ordered it now. This is mine. Which is not too bad, but I still wish I ordered more. Yeah, mine looks measly in comparison. Yours looks good though. It looks so good. Yeah. Let me get your mouth Look at that. Let me take this. Go on, try. This will be on YouTube. David, Ready for this, guys. David Bissell, <laughs> he eats not chicken and rice. Oh my god. <laughs> How's, how is it? <laughs> Good. <laughs> all of us, like you're a but like you're <laughs> <laughs> You've got it on your cheek as well. <laughs> he like freezes when he sees this camera. Man mannequin challenge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an African, I don't like my teacher's shape. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. How do I see this not myself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you that. <laughs> Otherwise it's what? It destroys my soul. What, getting your picture taken? <laughs> Daddy, Daddy making me You've three to yourself. Yeah. 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 Taking advantage of the two for one. <laughs> <laughs> What, you want us to walk up all the way up there? Yeah, I'll do out there. Look out. Just to, yes, to film it, and then you can speed it up in the video. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we'll keep going. Nice view though. Ah? Uh, what would I have to stop? Why? We made it. Yeah. <sighs> Made it! Five minutes later. They're giant shoes. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> You're walking on the moon. <laughs> so happy Monday morning. <laughs> Sorry I've been really rubbish at vlogging my like day to day life. I kind of just showed you pretty much what I got up to at the weekend. Um, but yeah, I didn't really, I haven't really spoken to you since 
Saturday at like six in the morning. So yeah, I went to London to help my friend. I went to London to help my friend David out, um, do a posing class, which was really fun. Um, and we got lunch um, and stuff afterwards, which was really lovely. And like, I had a nice catch up. And then, yeah, I went to Bournemouth to go and see my sister because I haven't seen her for God knows how long. Um, so it was really nice to catch up. We had like cocktails and lunch and we walked on the beach and it was really lovely. Um, and my dad's going back to Ghana in like a couple of days. So it was nice to, for him to see my sister as well. It was nice for Max to come as well. Um, but yeah, like I just had a really nice weekend. Friday, like you kind of saw my little day-to-day -day life. Not, I'm just like a normal person. I have a, I have a job like everyone else to earn money for things I need to pay for and stuff like that. And that's kind of what I wanted to show that I'm not this fitness person that just literally talks to the camera 24 seven because I ain't got time for that. And I haven't got fine. I need money to do that. So, but yeah, um, yeah, my back is absolutely killing from posing. And because I did deadlifts on Thursday and I got PBs, which I'm so happy about. <laughs> But I'm kind of annoyed because I could have got higher, but I dropped bar. <laughs> and whatever, but it's fine. Um, but yeah, sorry, this, the vlog's really random. Um, I just still wanted to post um, what I got up to in my everyday life just to show that I am really normal and I have a job like everyone else. And... I want to ask, answer a question. Someone asked me, um, or cut, not a question, kind of just said, is it not like quite contradicting, this is really random, can't, quite contradicting that I preach about balance, yet I, when I'm in bodybuilding mode, like when I'm on prep for competitions, that I'm not balanced. Is it not like a bit contradicting that you preach balance and you don't do it whilst in prep? Um, and the reason for that is while whilst I'm on prep, it's like a whole nother world for me. I don't, I don't think about balance. I don't think about cheating or anything like that. It's, it's, I have a goal in mind that I want to win or I want to place. And that's how I look at it. I know that's not the best and bodybuilding it. I don't know. It's quite hard to explain. Like I don't go for balance when I'm in bodybuilding mode because I'm only doing it for a couple of weeks so yeah I kind of that's kind of what I wanted to say because someone kind of commented on one of my Instagram saying it was a bit contradicting but and I know it is but it depends how you want to go with it some people can do um it very balanced um but sometimes with bodybuilding it's it is a little bit of an unhealthy sport so you kind of got to look at it sometimes that you kind of got to be a bit selfish with it and sacrifice things like chocolate or ch cake or anything to get the body you want for stage that's the way i look at it and I, it's not for everyone because not everyone can do it um but yeah that's just the way i look at it because it's a massive a massive passion of mine and yeah it's not like i have like a thousand calories a day when i'm on prep because that's just stupid i still have a good amount of calories it's just that I cut out some of the stuff that I would have when I was on balance, like being balanced and stuff. So I would cut out like chocolate or cake or something like that, just because mentally I feel I, sh I don't want to have that whilst I'm on prep type thing. So, but yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. Yes, thank you for watching. Um, I know this is like, again, it's a really random vlog, but um, thank you for watching. And comment down below, I've said this in a, another one of my videos, comment down below if you want to see any more videos like the video I posted, my previous video, because a lot of you liked my clean eating versus flexible dieting um, and my uh, glutes and hamstrings, um, like favorite exercises. So if you have any other videos that you wanna see, please comment down below, below and like this video if you enjoyed watching it. And thank you so much for watching and I love you all so much.